Okay, so I finally got around to getting another first aid kit for my everyday carry to work bag. In the past I had first aid kits attached to the shoulder strap and lately I've just been carrying any kind of medical supplies inside in another zippered pouch. Um, but I've always found that the pouch on the outside to be a little more convenient to access. Uh, that way I don't have to go rooting around in the bag to find the um, first aid supplies in the event that I need them really quickly. And very often times, since it is a bag that I carry different things in that are work related, uh, things get uh, used a lot, jumbled around, um, and sometimes not placed back where it uh, normally should be. So having something uh, attached externally uh, should really uh, alleviate a lot of those problems. And uh, what I have here is a, uh, it says, be smart, get prepared. And this is a product from the uh, Total Resources International. And you can see here website, www.dietrykits.com. And this particular kit has 57 pieces. The vast majority of the pieces, and everything is listed here, the vast majority of the pieces are um, bandages. And that's typically the case with these pre-made uh, first aid kits. And the good thing I like about this, um, is, which is similar to another one that I had, is that you can modify these to your needs. For instance, if you don't need quite as many bandages, you can take some out or add more. Uh, this doesn't appear to have any um, prep pads, the alcohol prep pads. You can add a couple of those. Um, I always like to carry a tick key uh, in my first aid kits as well as some small um, those splinter removers those uh, splinter removing tools and um, you know just mix and match and add things to make it um, more useful essentially and the biggest drawback that I've had with bags similar to this is actually the quality of the bag uh, the bag is in my opinion of perfect size for my needs but uh, durability has always been an issue, and I guess the only way to see whether or not this will work is to actually try it out and see. So I'm just going to quickly open it up and get the goodies outside so we can take a look at it. And another thing that I've noticed, which was not uh, present with the other kits, is the, um, the drug facts. This pretty much tells you everything about the contents that has some sort of, uh, I guess, uh, pharmacological uh, properties. And um, it'll let you know whether or not this is something that you can use for yourself. Uh, if you know what you may be allergic to, or what... Um, may cause you medical issues if you do use them. So I think that that's a plus because you should always know what you're putting in and on your body, particularly if it has uh, pharmacological properties to it. See, this is antibiotic ointment, antiseptic towelettes. The insect protection cream, insect sting relief. burn cream and sunscreen lotion um, yeah I would also suggest that if you have medical conditions you might want to actually put some of uh, your medic your own medication in here that way you always have it near at hand in the event that you you know need it and uh, don't have the uh, the main bottles with you like if you're out on the road or something and some event happens that doesn't allow you to get to your either back to your go bag or back home and uh, you'll still have it with you particularly if it's an everyday carry bag okay so you have these of 
quite a few of those. These are the first aid, the burn creams. The antibiotic ointment. You also might want to make a note of the expiration dates. Uh, this actually has a best if used by 83118 and it is currently 4916. So uh, this stuff shouldn't dry out in the meantime. But as with any kind of uh, medical kit or first aid kit, you want to make sure that all of your pharmaceuticals or pharmacologicals um, are not expired or dried out. Sunscreen lotion with the protection factor SPF 30. The insect protection cream, deep free, but I think this has citronella oil in here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, citronella oil, soybean oil, and sodium laurel sulfate. Okay, a couple moleskin patches for your, um, if you have any abrasions or bruises or uh, what do you call them, bunions or whatever, you can uh, <laughs> put those on there and uh, more bandages, butterfly closures. Small bandages. strips okay it's kind of windy out here but it's so nice too nice to be indoors you know but uh, it gives me a little task to clean this up but in any event um, once I get this set up um, with some additional supplies I'll showcase it again and um, of course I definitely love to hear any suggestions that uh, any of you guys might have uh, regarding things that should be in there or would be beneficial to be in there. All right, thanks for watching, and once again, be smart, get prepared. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.